This is a quick video on how you can make easy, cheap music flashcards for yourself, your kids, or your students. Um, I'm just using cue cards and a Sharpie. The Sharpie does bleed through, and in that case, you wouldn't be able to write the answers on the back because they would bleed through the front. So I use a Sharpie because it looks a little bit nicer, but you could change mediums if you want, or materials. So what you're gonna do is just count a few lines down from the top line on your lined cue cards. And then you just start making five lines, just like this. Just do it in the middle. Start making a circle around your G, it's your second line. You're gonna go up to the B, come down to E, loop around, make a loop on your F, come down and finish that treble clef off, and then Start by making a circle up here. I'm teaching guitar, so G is one of the first notes we're gonna learn. And uh, I make my stem on the left-hand side and I come down about two lines and a bit. And then I get a really nice quarter note there on G. Put that aside, let's do another one. So once again, you count down about two lines from the top of your cue card. You just follow the lines that are already there and make yourself five lines for your staff. So find the second line from the bottom, the G line. Make a loop up to the B line, come back around to your E, get up to your F, loop around, make a little curl at the end, and then you do your next note. Now you're gonna have to do some searching if you don't know the note names. Maybe look in whatever method book you're working from, and then you can put the answers on the back for yourself. But if you're a teacher, of course you won't have to do that because you're going to know these. You can do the same thing with bass clef. Um, but if you're making these for yourself and you're not familiar with writing down music, what you have to remember is that as soon as you cross this middle line, this B line, that's the last stem that's gonna come down. So when you get to A, same is true on the bass clef, when you get to this space here, your stem switches sides and it goes up about two lines again, and you could stop about halfway through um, that third space there, or that second space away from where you started. And all of the notes that go after this are gonna have up stems, so you have to watch out for that. And when you get below the staff, so when you've passed D, when you pass this one here, you have to draw yourself an extra line, a ledger line, and that's where you'll find your C. You do the same thing. You go up a couple lines and just stop about halfway through the next space, just like that. And you can keep going down through all the notes that you might see in your method book. And you can even do your bass clef, which I'm not as good at, but I'll try to make one here. So here's my F clef. I start on my F line. I come up, hit my A, and then I'm gonna come down and make a bow shape till I reach my bottom line. And then around the F, I will make two dots, and I'm gonna do the same process. I'll make a note up here. And that's how you make easy, cheap music flashcards. And of course, you can put some other questions on these if you want to, like, what does four four mean? And all sorts of stuff that you wanna quiz yourself or your students on. All right, good luck, hope you enjoy.